Hi there, my love. Um, I know that you, <laughs> you've been bothering me to read for you and your birthday came and went and I didn't do a reading for you like I had promised. So I thought I would, um, go ahead and film one for you so that you could watch it later. Um, so basically this is how I do my client readings. I don't know if you watch my YouTube channel, but if you do, you know how I do it. And um, I went ahead and shuffled all of the cards for you so we don't have to film all the shuffling. So let's just get right into it. Um, there is a full moon coming up um, tomorrow or in a couple days. So I figured I would pull um, some cards for the full moon, what you should focus on because full moon is about manifesting your dreams and we both know that you are working towards some major goals in your life so that's what we're going to pull so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull all the cards and then we'll just dive into it so very good move my crystals and we'll just get right into it so like i said i have already um pulled my card or shuffled my cards so it wouldn't take so long This one came up for you today when I pulled for you. That's kind of funny, it comes up again. Okay, so the main energy here is giver and karma. Now this is really important for you because giver and karma is saying what you put into the universe, and we were talking about law of attraction earlier, what you put into the universe is what you're going to receive. So if you are putting out negativity, anger, resentment, frustrations, all of that kind of stuff, you will only be continuing to attract all of that stuff. This is really big for you because I know you are frustrated with your present workplace, um, but you have to learn to make the most of it, make the best of it, to see the positives in it, in it even if you are frustrated, even if it's like breaking you apart. Um, the karma card is very big for you because I do feel like you do have the tendency of getting negative. You do have the tendency to become locked in your mind and that can attract the same kind of stuff in your life. So you want to get out of that kind of resentment karma mindset. So the other cards that I pulled, we have moving on conflict and defeat. You are very conflicted in your workplace. You are always feeling defeated. I feel like more so lately than before. I also feel like you are more vocal about it. Um, I do know that you tend to not express certain things like this because you don't want to upset me or you don't want to show that you're weak or weaker or feeling weak. But I do feel like this is, it is, it's a, it's a problem. It is something that has been holding you back. It's on the top, which is like on the top of your mind constantly. To the left, we have moving on. And I do feel like, you know, like I've been telling you, it's time for you to move on from this place. Grabbing what you can take with you and moving forward. Moving on from the workplace, moving on in, in other areas. I feel like you need change. You need something that's going to revitalize you. In the future position, we have temptation. So what is tempting you in life? What is tempting you? What is calling to you? What is making you think twice? Um, you know, this can be temptation on different aspects, but I feel like 
you know, there's times where maybe you're tempted to call it quits at work or you're tempted to just go completely on a tangent, you know, and do things out of the norm. There's major temptation there. But also know there are consequences for some of our actions when we are participating in temptation. So make sure you think twice about it. What is below you is your destiny. It's time that you fulfill your path with your purpose. It's time that you really think about what is your destiny? What is your purpose spiritually here on this earth? What are you meant to do? What makes you happy? Where do you feel connected? I feel like you surround yourself so much with the stress, the work, the everyday things, but your spiritual is a little bit weak. I feel like your purpose, your per your passions in life are not completely as strong as they could be. So then the next group of cards that I pulled, storytelling is what I, exactly I was telling you earlier today, how I feel like you tend to let your mind play tricks on you. You create um, scenarios in your head and then you tend to believe it. So I do feel like storytelling is that. It's your mind plays tricks on you. We have the heart chakra. This is your energy with the way you love focusing more so on the way that you love especially when you're in a workplace where you're frustrated with people and I have told you this before coming at your stresses with love rather than just adding to the stress or the frustrations at work and don't participate in the drama we have responsibility and I do feel like it's your responsibility to life is to be successful and to, you know, bring in the, the money and paying the bills. And it's a lot of responsibility on you. But I also feel really called to this image where we have, you know, this flower where it's been slowly chipped away yet. I feel like you're coming to a breaking point, my love. I feel like you're coming to a point where you do need to be revitalized. And I do feel it has to do with the workplace. You need out with whether it's in plan A or it's completely a different plan, you need out. And then strength, which is powerful for you because you are powerful and you are strong and you have to be strong for so many other people and even for myself, like, you know, being married to me, I'm sure isn't always the easiest, um, but I do feel like you know how to be strong and you are strong and powerful. And I feel like you need to be revitalized in that. Regaining your power so you're not broken. I also like that it's next to destiny because what you what are your what your destiny or your purpose in life is will reflect your inner power, your strength, and your responsibilities in life. <clears throat> okay, so then the tarot that I pulled. With storytelling came the Three of Wands, and I feel like this one's indicating um, that the per the future, the things that we want in our, you know, for our future, it's not, it's not um, far fetched. So this speaks to me too because I feel like you know this card often talks about travel, or it talks about moving. So I do feel like for us it's significant, especially when we are looking to house hunt. I do feel like this is signifying that. Um, we can't let our doubts and our mind tell us that it's not possible because it is. What's beside the heart chakra is the queen of wands. So allow this to be me or allow this to be your inner creation. Allow love in. Be a beacon of love to other people even if you're frustrated. Okay? And a queen of wands is very on fire. She is so passionate about her life, and I want you to find that passion again in yours. <clears throat> Responsibility to the moon. <laughs> the moon is your intuition. Um, it's mystery. It is you taking on both sides of your personality, the domesticated and the wild side, and finding an even balance between the two, okay? Um, you know, and making it work. Okay, wow. 
It's also a, a reading for the full moon, so I love that the moon came up too for that. And then we have seven of pentacles, which I feel really depicts who you are right now. <laughs> I feel like this card displays you just over it. You're over the job. You're over doing the work that you do. And you're doing nothing but contemplating what is next. Okay? So I feel like it's it's time, my love. And I know you're doing what you can to try to make changes, but I really want you to focus on getting yourself away from this workplace. I feel like it's you're well overdue. And if there's anything that you try to manifest in this full moon, it is definitely um, manifesting your courage, your willpower, and changing your heart to find what is your true destiny and to really give yourself a do-over that it is okay to walk away from a situation that no longer fulfills you and it is okay for you to look for work somewhere else um, even if it means taking a pay cut you know we will figure things out and I feel like that's the gist of the message here without getting too personal I guess <laughs> but I know you wanted a reading and so I hope that you found this one to be um, helpful and just giving you maybe something to think about. Probably stuff you already know, but I think you needed to hear it. So thanks, my love. And anyone who's watching, if you would love a reading with me, please don't hesitate. Click the link below. Check out my website. Check me out. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below, and um, I look forward to reading for you guys. Thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs>